In this video, I'm going to show you a simple defense that you can use that will basically defend any formation. It's a great defense that you can use that will basically kind of get um, just some reps underneath you and allow you to kind of see what the offense is all about and really just kind of have an opportunity to get a feel for what they're trying to do offensively. If you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. This is a great gun tight defense. It's also, like I said, just a really good defense for any formation that you can run that's going just to allow you to get a feel uh, for what your opponent wants to do offensively and kind of how you can maybe go about stopping uh, some of that on the defensive side of the ball. So uh, with that, what we're going to be talking about today, we're in the San Francisco 49ers defensive playbook. And I'm going to be talking about my nickel normal defense. And if you have not picked up my Patreon membership yet, I do want to quickly let you know that that's the best way where you can go at over there um, by joining the Patreon for just $10 a month. You're going to get my full nickel normal defensive guide that I have in there. I also have uh, over 20 offensive and defensive guides available in the Patreon membership. And we're adding a new one this week. And the cool part about being a member is you get access to not only the, the nickel normal defense, but you're going to get access to every ebook all year long. You get access to all the updates to that as long as you're a member, and you get access to um, any new guys that we release while your membership is active. We try to update it pretty much every week with new material uh, that breaks down little tweaks, little twists of the game, and how you can improve. So if you want to get access to all that content, there's a link in the description below on the Patreon uh, if you want to sign up for that. Again, it's only $10 a month, so super cheap and allows you to get better, I think, instantly as soon as you join the membership. What we're going to do defensively here is we're going to, if you look at the packages at the bottom of the screen, we're going to flick the right joystick to the left one time, and what you'll see is it creates the free safety inside package. Now, what I like to do um, is once I do that is I'm going to go through and go ahead and sub in whoever I want at these positions. So you'll see here, put safeties at the linebacker spot. Uh, in this example, we're going to put a better safety over here. And then at the corners, just make sure, you know, I have everybody where I want them. Typically, you need to kind of remake, just make sure you have all your best players in uh, because it does kind of change some of the rosters you see here. Just puts people in different positions. So as you can see, I'm just going through, putting my best players in. And then we're going to talk about the play Tampa 2 uh, from this. So this is a really good defense for um, really any offense, but it's really, really good for gun tight in particular. And what you're going to notice is we're going to go ahead, I'm going to move the ball to the right. But what we're going to do is we're going to put both of our safeties in outside thirds. What I like to do against gun tight is you could go as far as baseline and pressing it. And then we're going to uh, pinch our D-line. We're going to shift our D-line to the right. So you see here, this gives us a nice base look. Now, um, and then we're going to take the, the linebacker that it's on the right side of the screen because they're both middle linebackers. We could put either one of them into a deep third. So as you can see there, it allows me to put him into a deep third. And then I'm going to drop the defensive end on the right side of the screen here into a deep or a vert hook. Okay. And that's pretty much the defense. If you want to drop the left of screen defensive end into a three rack hook, you certainly can do that as well. So you'll see it looks like this. And what this allows us to do is we have two vert hooks. We have two cloud flaps. We have um, a cover three shell. And the flow coverage of this is really, really good. So I'm going to go to one of the more popular concepts um, from this from this um, formation, which is the four verticals. And what you should see is this plays that, for the most part, it plays it really, really well. As you can see right here, it's going to force them to have to check down to the flat. Okay. Um, now, if you want to against gun tight in particular, because gun tight is notorious for having really good wheel routes, you can go ahead and shade your coverage down and then re-cloud your outside corners so that they still go their deep to that depth down there. And then you can drop your zones accordingly. So you see here, this is all, all that adjustments. And then I'll show you the four verticals route um, to the left. And what you should see here is that this wheel is tough to throw against that vertical hook, especially if you shade it down. Now on the right side of the field, it is a little bit of a different scenario, and I'll show that real quickly here, uh, just because just because you're dropping, which is why if I was gonna shadow one side of the field, it would probably be 
uh, the right side. Uh, but anyway, let me show you it one more. Let me show it to you real quick here. So again, just you know, get your zones out there, and then you're gonna use it right here. And I'll just show you the default vert hook here from the DN. But what you'll see here is he's gonna get out. Now that window is a little bit easier to hit, but it's still not terribly great. Um, it's still not terribly great. But the other thing that you can do with that defender um, on that side of the field is you can uh, go ahead and put him in man coverage on the tight end. Uh, so if you wanted to do something like that, you certainly could, and it won't change anything for the defense. So everything else is still the same. You're still wanting to put those you know, deep zones out on the field. My recommendation would be you're going to want to use her in that little window for like a shell across or something like that. But what you'll see against four verticals is now that guy's going to go there and he's going to have really good positioning. And you can click on and try to make a play on that. It just makes that throw a little bit more difficult uh, to make. And then I'll show you one other thing that you can do. Um, one other thing that you can do with this. So the other thing that you can do with this is you could say, I'm not going to worry about the deep post because I'm going to tell myself that that's my user responsibility. So what that would look like is you're going to stand right here, maybe even rush for him. Um, but now you have that corner or that linebacker in a zone. And what you should see is the vert hook here makes that throw really difficult. Okay, and I'll show you that. I think I forgot to put the flats out there. Let me put the flats out there real quick. Now the wheel routes are obviously not the only thing that they're going to do from this formation. I'll come back to that in just a second. But again, just something simple like this cover two. And then you're going to use with a deep third. Okay. Um, and what you should see is this vert hook now has a little bit more room to get out there. And honestly, the cloud plays it fairly good too anyway. So so that's the that's the, the wheel route portion of this. Now let's talk about the, the deep concepts so one of the concepts that you're going to get a lot is the flood route where we're going to run a streak a post a corner and a wheel of some type typically something like this this does a pretty good job against that so what you're going to do because you're because your middle linebacker is going to flow right into the um, right into the space of the field you've got a concept that looks like this your wheel route to the back will be covered. Now you can obviously use that because there's nothing else on the field that's really a threat to you. But if you look at this post, you'll see that it does get over the top, but that third and that, it makes it a real tight throw. Now again, I would recommend just running with that because you have great underneath coverage in this defense. And that's one of the major aspects that I really like about it is you can feel free to go user the deep stuff if you, if you need to. So like a, a concept like that where there's no route Like, feel free to run with that. The next concept I want to go over is a flood to the right. So if they did something like this, you should see here, thirds do a really good job of breaking on the corner and making it a difficult throw. Okay? If you want to put your cloud flats at a certain depth, you certainly can do that as well. You can zone drop them. You could double Mabel out of this. So let's say, for example... Um, you wanted to double Mabel, you could do something like this right here. Um, and you see that this is going to allow us to have, you know, a really good little balance to it. Notice against gun tight that you can put this guy in a third as well, which I think is really cool. So if you wanted to, you could do something like this. Um, you can put him in an outside third and then maybe create like a cover three roll coverage, which allows you to take this guy and you know put him in whatever you want so something like this can create that concept and then let's talk about um let's talk about uh, mesh spot so another really popular play and what it really is built around is this post so if you take a look at this what you'll see is this outside third is in a good position to kind of kind of hang with that and again i want to come back and reiterate that's you you can use her that why can you use her that well you can use her that because you have so much underneath help. You have two vertical hooks and two clouds and a three rack. You have five underneath zones, okay? So if they run a concept like mesh spot and you need to carry that route, like you can. So you see here I am, 
and I can just carry this. Now, again, the outside third is over there, and the outside third is going to have a chance. If they are late on their throw, that's a great zone to be able to defend that. But you see that this is a great way to just kind of, again, force the gun tight defense or the gun tight offense to have to under you know have to take what you give them and really what you're giving them in this especially if you have a good user attached to this is you're going to force them into you know basically something in my opinion you're going to force them into something that basically looks like this double crossers and what you should see here is you'll notice that if they don't have a pull route, that guy's going to play it. So they have to have a pull route on both sides. So it's like double streaks, double crossers is really what we're what they're going to be looking at. The problem is this tight end crosser doesn't get very deep. It doesn't get over the top of a cover two. So from a user perspective, it makes it real simple. You're just taking the crosser that can get over your zones. And that's only the crosser from a receiver. So in this scenario, okay, I'm going to carry that you see everything else is covered and then we're going to get our sheds and you see that the defense is going to play pretty strong last uh route combo that i want to hit on today let's say that they run a wheel um like a wheel like something like this okay this is a very popular concept especially in the red zone remember you have your vertical hooks right so you have this and you have a three rack if you want it. If you want to put that buff foot out there, you have a three rack. But if you watch here, the running back should be covered, the slant's covered, and the post is covered. Everything on this play is bagged. You don't even have to use or anything because they need a pull route. They have to have some kind of vertical pull route to get that open, and they just run out of stuff like that. So that's what makes this offense or this defense so good. You don't have to you don't have to baseline it either if you don't want to. So like if you want to sit like this. And let's say you don't want the vertical hooks. That's fine. Let's say you would rather have, um, you know, press man-to-man -man coverage on that inside slot. And then maybe you want to go with a three rec there. And then on this right side, I would always recommend having a third. Um, but maybe you want to go on the right side with man coverage on the tight end. So you take the vertical hooks out, but you still have good coverage. You have man coverage on the wheel routes and the running back. Now, this is a very good um, coverage you know, if we're trying to stop this deep post that is so powerful from this lot, from this formation. So this little defense right here is a lot of fun. It's uh, real simple. And it just kind of, again, it just force it. The biggest thing you want to take away with this, this is a defense that is going to force them to have to work a little bit on the offensive side of the ball and get into some of their deeper stuff, which is then going to allow you to get a read on it and kind of be able to just get a little bit of a step ahead against the offense. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about this defense, this nickel normal defense, I think is the best defense that I've put together all year long. I built it completely from scratch, um, built it on the hinges of match coverage and zone coverage and man coverage. So we can create all different types of coverage concepts. We can create different types of pressure concepts from this. And so if you want to learn the entire defense, I would really encourage you to pick up our Patreon membership. Uh, for just $10 a month, your membership is going to include every ebook that we've released all season long, any new ebook that we will release while your membership is active, and also all of our exclusive updates that we release weekly into our membership that allows these ebooks to stand the test of time as we tweak them with different happenings of the game. So, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my full uh, Nickel Normal Defense, I'm going to put a link to that in the description below.